Hello and welcome back. I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Civ 6 with Filthy Robot. How's it going? Going well, man. Getting excited about maybe getting off our continent, meeting some other players, maybe killing them. Should we keep that pin there, actually? We might sell there someday. I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, sure. Maybe settle me, please. Yeah. Was, we, we should change the symbol to something else. There we go. Build. Oh, Wait. God, oh, it, it rewrote the text. Oh, good. Apparently, if you, if you change the hammer, it changes the text. Uh-oh. I guess you don't technically need to have the text at all. You could just have uh, a symbol. So we, we planned, we planned one thing, the harbor. Yeah. Wait, why is this one settle? Oh, wait a second. Oh, are you basically naming each symbol? Is that what's That's happening? That's what's happening. I thought that it was just like plate, like, like text. Okay. But yeah, if I switch, now this one's this one. If I change this one back here. Oh, God. Hold on. We, we had said harbor, right? Yeah. That's the only district. We did put district planning in between episodes, and we decided we want a harbor in that city. Yep. In the only location we could build one in right now without buying a tile. <laughs> it was, so we, we it did was, work. It was a super great planning session, uh, you yeah. have to admit. Okay, so we have uh, completed a city-state quest for uh, Geneva, okay. and we're now up to two envoys. Cool. Great. But that was too much beyond that. And this thing finished its uh, galley. Now there's a Excellent. a thing for two galleys, isn't there? We already have it though. We have it. Yep. So no more galleys. Yep. Next, ancient walls at nine turns. I like harbor. Start the harbor. Sure. Yep. It's gonna take forever. Gets this extra trade route. Trade route's really powerful, especially if you if your capital has a bunch of districts in it, and then uh, in particular the industrial district, you get a lot of production from that. Industrial district seems to give more to. I think it's more. Yeah. My understanding of trade routes is the the yield that the trade routes give you is better based on the the city that you're sending the trade routes to number of uh, districts. But I think the industrial district gives an additional production bonus from that. I think. So where would you park this spearman right now? He's got no task. I would park him in between Boston and Washington on the Washington side of the river to deal with barbs that are going to spawn in that tundra to the north. Wait, that one actually had a promotion available. Nice fortified, you can't do anything this turn anymore. And these two maybe in between in case there's barb camp spawns? Yeah, yep. Alright, okay. so this is the turn where you can purchase this if we want to. We might as well. Yeah, yeah. Because I want to sell it to him this turn and see what we can get for value wise out of this. That was his final build, I think. Isn't this guy have plus one sight? He's feeling kind of sad. I feel like we should be seeing uh, further. No, he doesn't have plus one sight. He can see through woods and jungle. Uh, okay, right. It's level three promotion plus one sight. Okay. Yeah. Don't end this turn though. Make sure we offer a trade to him because I've been getting I've been getting some huge variance in the deals they offer. Sometimes it's real minimal, and sometimes they're giving me like three or four hundred gold for a luxury. Or we go this way, since we've already kind of got yeah. people that way. We're we're looking for a shallow water connection to another well no actually thinking about that well maybe there yeah okay that's shallow water connection you can see it actually the water slightly different color and the different yield you get a gold for coastal water and you get uh only a f uh, food for deep water it's embarked his builder we should attack him <laughs> the builder is like the the universal attack me symbol okay so you don't want to do that you want to go to diplomacy talk to congo yep. make a deal sell him one of our dies yeah what do you mean you can't accept this deal you can't even give it to him? You accept that deal. We can take more from that. What about gold per turn? Yeah, take them both. Try well, First things first. So I found they would give me ridiculous amounts of money for this. So try just left clicking the 187 twice. Yeah, so they'll give you all of his gold per turn and 187 gold for this. I told you, luxuries are ridiculous right now. Do we have more gold per turn? Oh, he's got more gold per turn. Still do that, apparently. All right. Yes. This seems broken as hell. And I think we should ask him for the builder as well. I don't know how we do that yet. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I mean, it's got to be bugged. Told you. He'll give oh, us he'll tobacco. Give us, he'll give us tobacco as well with this? That's amazing. I accept. <laughs> no, thank you. Very no, much. thank you. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Uh, <laughs> what? I mean, look at this. 24 gold per turn for 30 turns. He gave us 100 and something, 180 gold, and he gave us tobacco, tobacco back. 
Wait, did we not have tobacco already? No, we didn't have tobacco. We're settling for tobacco, and there's one we're not settling for tobacco, but yep. Yeah. How are we doing on amenities now? Pretty pretty decent. Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're food blocked more than anything else in there, so. That is ridiculous. The AI is... Yeah, those... probably hanging garden. Oh, wow. Yeah, it does, it does seem like they overvalue that a little bit. But sometimes they'll give you nothing for it, so. Like, it depends how pissed off they are at you. And right now we're buddy-buddy with them, so. I guess it is saving you clicks. I've seen almost no reason to do uh, to use the escort feature right now, uh, but it is saving you a click per turn. So maybe, I guess on um, long distance settler moving. This guy has a promotion, but there's no button to do it, and I think it's because Try he's sleeping. Move. Yeah, wake him up. Yep, yep. How weird is that? Should we just we should just promote him rather than sure fortifying? All right, arrow storm. Yeah, helps us hunt barbs a little bit better. Am I playing too slowly for you? We just uh, wait a turn, or...? Yeah, I'd wait a turn for him to move. No, in general, you're doing just fine. It's just, uh, this has been... Moving units around is always painful for me. Like that, and then you go west? I'd go west with this one. Nice. Oh no, deep water. Damn, thought we might get a break to another continent. So that's what we're looking for. Because I don't think... I think the, the tech for, uh... By stairs. And at their side are water engines, by means of which persons, appointed expressly for the purpose, are continued. I do think it's really cool they got Sean Bean to, to narrate. Yeah. Oh wait, your progress has been boosted, and yeah, now we're only one turn away from drama and poetry, which we can Perfect. get off of the... We have a naval focus, naval military policy right now. Yep, we can change that out for sure. Uh, we also change the Wonder Boy one out as well when we get there. I'm tempted to build ancient walls here in the cap, but I'm also tempted to build granary. So here we can actually see, we, we've got some pretty good multipliers here. Plus, uh, 25% yep. food growth. And that's without even trying to grow the city, because it's already food capped, or pop capped. So we have, we have three things we need to do in our capital. We're Which not generating, knows? because we're not using, we never took the panthe we never took the plus two profit points, because we were banking on the, uh, the Stonehenge, we're not generating to our religion right now at all. So getting a holy site out would do that. G getting a granary out would fix our... Uh, housing issue at least temporarily so the capital can grow again and then getting ancient walls out is going to boost our tech for engineering which gets us more housing available for aqueducts which is pretty useful because a lot of our cities have low pop caps yes so all those things are going to be good my personal preference right now would be granary holy site ancient walls and if we don't end up needing the, if we don't end up getting the tech boost from building ancient walls so be it we don't really need ancient walls we might just lose a little bit of science Here, what, if, what if we consider this what if we were to buy the granary we're about to settle a city in the south there that's going to require tiles that are three tiles out in like three different directions. Yeah, you really like buying tiles, don't you? <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's fine, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, something. This is just a vice. I like, I like no, my no cities problem. not to suck. That's what I like. I like my cities that have high production so they don't suck. <laughs> so they can do things. I'm, I'm kind of curious. What happens if you pillage your own road there? Maybe next turn. You, you want to try that now because the trader's about to pass through? Yeah. It works. Excellent. Great. Great str strategic move there. <laughs> yep. I don't think you want to head north with that. Uh, oh my god, that really good. Yeah, it's crazy. You don't want to head north with the galley? No, because I think if you look, the edge of the map is there. Yeah. So if you, we're not gonna, then there's not going to be a continent connection over there. And what we're really looking for is a continent connection. Might as well go that way. Yep. Okay. All right. Well, we have uh, drama and poetry. Here comes Sean Bean. All the world's a stage, and all the men and women merely players. Okay, so for military, we don't want this because we're not making ships. Probably yep. do want that. Anything else that's better? Double recon experience, because we're about to go get a goody hut. Very good, why so not? So valuable. We're done with uh, the wonder. Yep, move urban planning up there, because I want to use a wildcard policy here and actually grab uh, profit points so we can one day found a religion. This one then? Are we, are we, do we want to change government this turn? Mm, we have one more turn until we get a bonus, unfortunately. Yeah, it's too bad because it would sure as hell be nice right now to uh, have some better economic ones. I mean, it's 1% production. How often do you think 1% production is really going to make a difference? Never. Yeah, if you want to change governments, let's take a look. I'm, I'm tempted. I'm tempted to do classical here. So we, we would lose all these yields. Which is That's unfortunate. True. We would. Uh, we don't have any districts in any of our cities yet. We're right. Although we're about to build one in the capital. But however, what we do get is we have. Uh, we get 
the diplomatic cards, we start generating envoys. We get the wild cards, we start generating profit points. We get the plus one production to all cities still, and then we get to assign one other economic one that could be useful. We will lose the gold upkeep on uh, units right now, which would be a little bit annoying. Mm -hmm. All cities with districts receive plus one amenity. I mean, sure, great people points will also help well, out. I with guess the other thing is, when we could. I mean, if you, we could look at when the next policy, social policy is going to be, and then see if we want to really try to min max this bonus here. You can hit yes there without any losses. So when is our next one going to be? Well, we can very... religions a while. Yeah, we could detour for that in two turns. You want to do that? I'm fine with that. Yeah, why not do that? Okay, okay. so we decided to do uh, the two turn one, yep. and for the government, we were going to do we're keep this current government but change some policies. We're going to ditch that. We were going to yep. move you up. We were going to grab the great profit. Yep. And the silver recon. Good. Sure. Sounds good. Okay. I have no idea where to take that archer, so... Yep. So the Spearman is uh, back to fortifying. Did he repair the road is the question. He just moved there. And... Yeah. Yes, he did. Okay, so... Number one, yes, you can build your own road, which is weird. Number two, uh, he just kind of hangs out. Yep. Yes. I doubt you can... Well, yeah. Well, I mean, the roads work differently in this game in Civ 5. Civ 5 roads in your territories are only work for you. They don't work for enemies at all. In uh, Civ 6, uh, roads work for everybody in your territory. Can you attack him as well? You need to throw an attack into him. Yeah, you got 10 experience from that and 120 gold. 120 gold is nice. Just okay. plus one. Yeah. So that's where, your, that's where yeah. your plus one thought came from. Was that yep. they, uh... I guess we gotta go around these. He's just keeping these damn units everywhere. Why are we... It, it took me off of the scout, even though we had yeah. moves. When you're inside someone else's territory, it doesn't currently let you make a path that is more than one tile long. You have to individually move it for every single tile inside another territory, which is kind of weird. Awesome. Heading for our settlement spot. Going to get a halfway reasonable city. We need builders at some point, too. I feel like a good halfway spot's like somewhere in here, then. Yep. Okay. Might Can as well escape? Keep... Well, the thing is, if you kill that, the spearman kills you. Right. So it'd be nice to save this unit. So can we just go east? If we do that, he can still attack. Yeah, but don't do the marsh. There's a negative combat penalty on the marsh. Go there. That's fine. Okay. Wait, no the scout. Well, the scout won't. The scout won't attack you. Scouts don't attack units ever. No, they don't. They don't steal your workers. They don't steal your uh, settlers. Being barbarian the scouts. These are barbarian scouts, not AI afraid. scouts. So right. they won't steal your workers. They won't steal your settlers. And they right. don't. They will kill your trade routes though. Okay. We did. Do we not have two percent? What? Why do we not have two percent? Bonus on water production, 1% from Because we, we, we switched it twice, so it's giving us... It reset it when we changed government, because we clicked into the economic one temporarily and looked at that and then changed it back, even though we didn't actually change it for that turn. I think we lost the, the, the yeah. addition of that bonus. Well, damn! Fine, that okay, sucks. so Classical Republic it is. Okay. That's a little disappointing. Oh, yeah, that's really annoying, because that was like the whole point of playing is uh, this, this government type. So yeah. for our other economic policy then right now... Okay. Uh, what? Well, um, the two that stand out, we could get. We have a trade route, so we get some use, utility from that. But we do want to build some builders at some point. The question is, what's the timing? I don't think we're going to build builders before our next social policy, because I think you we're going to have a campus district up. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. For Perth, that's great. We do that. Okay, let's do that. I didn't even see that one. And which one? Probably this one. Yeah. yeah. Keep the great profit. Good. Yeah, we, we need to get. Yep, yep. Looks good. So for this one. Uh, we got Classical Republic, we're gonna start working on extra great people generation, which is good. Okay. So, we should be able to see, we actually haven't even looked at this thing. I have no idea what the hell tourism does, by the way. That's part of the cultural victory. Yeah, it's weird. I don't know how, it doesn't work. It's strange. Very strange. All you gotta do is attack people with guns and stuff. <laughs> so, great profit. Uh, we're at 2 out of 120. Unmet yeah, we'll player. We'll be there in a few moments here. Remember, there's probably been a religion founded too, because Stonehenge went. I didn't, I didn't yeah, see if the we first... clicked through the notification, but... The first one's 60, so yes. That's quite a big difference. That's double for religion. That's a huge difference in great people. Yeah. Huh. Well, we had talked about it at one point. I don't know if it was while recording or not, but I had said, like, I have a hard time actually founding religions in Civ 6 because it always is increasing the cost on me. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway, uh, so, so what? Found a religion 
theology, no? What do you want to do? You want to work uh, towards uh, divine right. How close are we to finishing construction? That's a tech? Yep. Three turns. Okay, so yeah, let's go this, because the boost, the finishing construction gives us a boost to drama and recreation, which we need along the way to divine right. Okay. There you go. And we finished uh, the Hanging Gardens. I don't think... I know it lied to us. You just See? finished the granary. See? I told yep. you. Yeah, lied to. Liar. All right. Holy Sight for sure here. Because you do get one great profit point per turn off the Holy Sight, which is a 50% increase right now in our great profit points. But you want the Aqueduct. I do. That and I also this... want Builders. But I want this religion. If we're going to invoke... Because with soon, this, the, the number one problem right now is our wild card slot is being used for this stupid great profit points, right? Mm -hmm. And the longer that we have to wait for a religion, the more the longer we have to wait on using our... Uh, wasting our wild card slot for that. Wasting. Yeah. yeah. So what do you want to do then? Monument? Mm -hmm. <sighs> Try to do the ancient walls here. Timing mm -hmm. would actually work out pretty well with uh, engineering. Yeah, but is it worth it? Is it better maybe just to suck it up on that and build some builders? Like we're we're chronically short on builders right now. We have no no builders in our empire, and we have two new cities coming down, like this city and the other city. We don't have um, a policy for builders right now, though. That's true. We don't. That is very true. Where the uh, the wall you would be getting full production for, for the most part. I I see what you're doing. You're trying to min max the Eureka and cultural bonuses, and I do that too. And I'm certainly not against that, but I'm not sure that. I don't know right now. I, I'm not. I'm not tempted to build a wall in this city. Okay. Good enough argument for me. Okay. Yeah, I, I trust your intuition. I mean, you played what fifty thousand games of Civ Civ Five, so something like that. I, I'd say that's a little low. Uh, most of it probably translates to Civ Six pretty darn well. Why did oh. that take all of our movement? Oh, river. Cross the river. Yep. Yeah. Should I go south? Probably. Yeah. Let's see. Uh... If any, we're looking for continent connections. Go one more tile so we can see the deep water on both sides. Yeah, but here maybe no. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I didn't even see that. At least mm, look. Still maybe. Yeah. Is anything... There's no... Okay. That moved too fast? Nope. Uh, I was just trying to think if there's any filter that lets us see anything the further for that, but I don't think so. Yeah, this scout's in a little bit of trouble. Yeah, you could kill it this turn. If uh, Do we survive? Yeah. So next turn. Hopefully we survive and can kill it. I sure there's no so. other way you're going to get away from that, because you'll cross the river and he'll get two more shots while you're crossing the river. Oh, you ran off. Nice. Good. Settle. Yes. It's uh, New York. <coughs> Welcome to New York. All right, where are we working? We've got the, the 211. That is uh, woods, just woods grassland. I just realized I, I muted my mic when I coughed and I uh, realized I just muted it locally. Doesn't do anything for the, the Skype call, sorry. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, no it doesn't. <laughs> my apologies. Uh, okay, we have purchase thing though. Let's get some tiles for this city. You know, purchase tiles or maybe just purchase something? I don't know, purchase something. Well, we yeah. have the purchasing tile policy, right? So let's get Ooh, the policies yeah. that we want here. So definitely the tobacco. Ooh, yeah. I want to buy out to that marble. The marble or this stone? All the, the way out there? Yeah, get the 68 one. The one in the middle between the two. Sorry, not that one. The one north of it, yeah. If there is a tile discount for having adjacent bonuses, yeah, let's grab that. We're not going to be working it yet, though. I know, but my thought is that we're going to change this policy and we don't want to keep the tile purchasing policy. So let's purchase gotcha. it. Boost, we're like we're going to want the stone at some point. Yep, I'm fine with that stone. The 2-2? Two, two? I think I'm tempted to take the 3-2 over the 2-2 two, two there. Over here? Yeah, I don't even know. So we do have some options here. We could just buy that granary and that would give us... We could build a buy a builder too. That's. Doable. I mean, we have such a stupid amount of gold from Nzinga here. I'm tempted to buy a builder in this city. It saves so much travel time. Yeah. Uh, how much would that be? I don't know. 300 something, I think. 245. 245. That's dirt cheap. Yeah, let's fucking buy a builder. Glorious. We should spend more of this money then on the tile, tile purchasing, either in this city or others. Uh, I'm not against buying both of those 3 2 tiles if you want the food tiles. The science? Yeah. Well. I'm not against that. That would be all of our money. Let's do it. Okay. This city, right. this city's. <laughs> New York is suddenly very large. <laughs> yep. It's it great. Be. And for its production? Uh, granary. First off, we'll teach them about the wonders of blah, blah, blah. Yep, and add, a, add science to that one, because we actually do value the science on those three two tiles a little bit here, right? I kind of right. like that growing. So, so he's yeah. actually going to stop this one in favor of that. 
I like the 2-2 two -two to begin with, though. We'll just lock that and then say yep. yes. Yeah, sounds good to me. Okay, where does this point seven come from? Just population? What yeah, is the it's ratio? Yeah, 0.7 for one pop. Okay. What do you want New York building? Granary. Oh, yeah. Only one out of three housing pop. That's crap. Yep. And that's that's settled. That's with a bonus, too. That's You can get worse than that. If you just settle normally, it's just one out of two. Like, that's, that's pretty so you crazy. Immedi you, you immediately have the food penalty, then. Jeez. Yeah. Heal. Yeah, I'm good with that. All right, let's send that warrior around. You gotta clear this camp because we want to improve the marble one day. Looks pretty good. Nothing. Oh, that sucks. Okay. okay. Well, it is uh, already amazingly that time. So cool. we'll uh, take a break here. We'll be back in the same time and the same place tomorrow. See you guys soon.